Okay guys, I want to introduce you to some of the colony traps that uh, me and Norm Blackwell are going to have on the market. There, there, there's some standard ones here and there's some not so standard ones here, but I want to show you what they are, uh, why they're a little bit different. This is kind of a standard colony trap. Five inches. Norm's standing right here. He's the he's actually the one that builds these. It's five inches, 24 inches long. Mm -hmm. It's got the door. It actually has some extra wire material on the back. So it always goes back down even if you got a little bit of current sitting here. And uh, it's kind of a standard one. But, but what's not standard about any of these is you'll notice the wire that we're using. It's one by one. It's the same thing we're using on our bobcat traps, correct? Yes. Same thing. That's why this is so rigid. And no matter which one of these, because I'm going to show you some different models here, why that makes such a big difference. These are the some of my colony traps that I built out of one by two wire. That's a lot less. I just grabbed one of these off the pile. I've been using these for a long time, the same ones I used in the year-long Blitzkrieg video. But what happens with this smaller wire is I'm uh, you can see how this moves. So I'm put I'm stacking these in the truck. I'm shoving it in holes, and if the top of the hole gets this thing kicked sideways, it keeps the door from opening when the rats try to get in it. So I'm always having to fiddle. I'm always having to check to make sure everything works. Stuff like this happens from being in a boat on the, on the back of a truck. They do catch. There's no questions about that. And uh, me and Norm's talked because these are going to be a little more expensive than the, the cheaper made traps. We may have some more basic smaller wire if, if the, the cost of the trap is that big a concern. But because of these are so much better, they're going to outlive this. So these actually have a whole lot more value for you. And while, by the way, the doors are made on here instead of just having the flat piece of metal. Because whenever you cut this metal, you'll have these little tits that come off the side. And if this gets bent in any way, it'll catch just like this. So if a muskrat's trying to get up in here, you're missing your $10, $12 muskrat and you don't want to do that. So this is one of my old ones, but we're not using this cheap wire anymore because of the, the problems I've had with them. This is our standard one, like I showed you. This is a 30 inch one, which is pretty standard in design. It's a little bit longer, you can get more rats in here. This is one that uh, I've used that I've made out of this other wire. When I come to those really sm smoking rat holes and you know that there's gonna be instant catches, I'll use these triple door. You'll see there's a door in the middle of this. And what the function of that is, is if you set this in a rat hut or you set this next to a bridge embankment and you get a rat to come through here, his momentum is gonna take him through here even if he tries to turn around because this will move and this one won't. So you can get a couple of rats on this side and a couple of rats on this side without having them plug up the door. One of the things we're not using a triple door system like this is every now and then if this is the bank den, a rat can try to go back in the den and if he dispatches itself underwater right here, it'll stop the next rat from coming in and the three door version just takes that away. There are a little bit bigger, you know, as far as the boat and stuff like that. But everybody comes across those rat holes that you know that you can catch them really, really quick. It's really fun to go up, especially with the day's prices, to have a 40 or $50 paycheck for just setting this in front of a hole somewhere. This is it's probably going to get confusing with all these other ones up here. This is a lot wider style trap. This will be a rat trapper's best friend as far as speed goes because you can literally set this in small creeks and when a rat comes down through here, he, he, he just goes off this ring wall, he goes in and he gets caught. So you can set these next to bridge abutments, kind of like a bottom edge set. If you've got a, a, a small channel or where it's a choke down spot in a creek and you've got muskrats or where the grass and stuff has the trails, you can just drop this in there and as big as this is, you can put eight to 10 rats in here. You can really clean them out quick. If you've got a creek that's say four foot wide, how wide is this one? 16 inches. 16 inches. So if you had one that's four foot wide, you could set two of these side by side, kind of block off the sides. And you completely 
have taken away every chance the muskrat has of getting around you. Because when they swim down, they're going to go right in here and just keep filling them up. This is one of the ones that I got earlier in the year we were playing with. This is out of the one by two wire. What you'll see at the shows this year is going to be one by one. Because again, as you can see, we I just didn't like the idea that it could move around that much. And over time, that's going to cause an issue. And we don't want you to have those issues. But how long is this one? 36. 30 inches, 36 inches long, 8 inches high, mm -hmm. and you can put a lot of muskrats in that. So even if you're road trapping and you have two or three of these with you and you come up to a place that's got muskrats and you've got the, the bridge embankment, instead of trying to, to, to fiddle around and get a little bitty 110 in there to maybe catch muskrat, one muskrat, drop this up next to the bridge embankment and you're done. It's that simple. You don't get paid any more money for those muskrats you got to work harder to catch and this, this really speeds you up along that way. And these are some of the muskrat designs that we've got coming out. We've got, we'll probably have some more, but this summer I believe this is pretty much what we're going to have to offer. Come see us at the conventions, lay your hands on them, see the quality difference of these traps over the cheaper made wire ones like I've always used. And you'll see why there's a little more premium on these, but you'll be happier in the field.